There's been a fair amount of chatter as of late of Jeopardy being sexist, and we clearly saw that again tonight. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. An entire category on sewing? Are you kidding me? I mean, you might as well just put three women on stage, right? Of course I'm joking, but some people think that categories about sports, particularly the NFL, or, I don't know, cars and things like that, are sexist towards women. I mean, what can you ask about? Everything's going to be a little bit biased toward one gender or one race or one class of people or another. It's all fair game. It's all knowledge. Speaking of knowledge, Johnny has a lot of it, and he might be one of my favorite players I've ever seen. You can just tell he's been watching the show for a really long time, and he's super excited to have his chance. And he does play the game pretty slowly, but he's clearly having a lot of fun, and it's contagious to watch him from at home. So he's got the lead here, 13,000. Uh, Camille, our returning champ, 6,600. I still hope she gets that 16,000 from yesterday, assuming she would have gotten uh, Collins correct. So let's go through the wagers quickly. I have not seen the outcome yet. So we've got 5,400 out of Johnny, and if he's wrong there, he's going to be left with 7,600. So you'll see that Camille has to get it right, and she should wager at least 1,000, but since she has to wager something, she might as well wager everything. We'll see if she learned from yesterday. Uh, Eric, at most, could wager 1,600. That last clue really cost him, though, because to cover Camille, who is, I hope, going to go all in, that's going to be 13 to 4,000 at a minimum. 1,001. And uh, at that point, he might as well go all in, too. So we've got two people going all in. And uh, Johnny going for 5,400. I'd cap it at, uh, looks like, 6,400 to force Camille to get it right. And now I will go watch and see how this game ends. Well, I feel like I wasted a lot of time today because I had a long bus ride home from Vermont and I spent some of that time looking through old archive data to see whether there have been any circumstances in which the third place player could have won with a bigger wager when they had no reason not to wager everything. I kind of wish Camille had gotten this one right. That's all I'm going to say. And... I'm just going to leave it at that. Johnny, congrats on your win. I wish you had a better wager, but hey, that's money in your bank, and uh, nice job getting the only pull in final. One more day left, and it can't come quickly enough, and then maybe in 2016 we'll have some better wagers. <laughs> Who am I kidding? All right. We'll see you tomorrow on the final day of 2015, right here on the final wager.